No English. I'll be Aren't there. Are you says... supposed to be getting married? I don't care where you are. I will find you. I will hunt you down. Do you hear me? I'll find you. God, what was I thinking? Giving that waste of human flesh a cab at my casino. Uh huh. I see. Well, never mind that. You ready to play best man, old son? The sooner you're married, the sooner we're out of here on the next flight, the sooner I get my hands on the 50 grand. And the sooner you cut me in on it, or I don't go. This is gonna be like old times, you know? I'll finesse questions from the police, you'll make sure nobody slaps me around with rusty nails, and then we'll get out into the island, check it out, mix with the natives, try out the local beverages. You're stalling. Why would I stall? No, no, I'm very serious about making a commitment to my wife and my retirement nest egg. And having you there, it's just, it, 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 I can't do this. I can't do it, I can't marry Tracy, that's all there is to it. Damn. Just because I don't want your father dragged off into the jungle by some make-believe, money-grubbing secret agent doesn't mean that I care about him. You love him. If you say that again, I will send you to boarding school. I knew it. Well, the sooner we get the charade over, the sooner we get Luke out of the house. So let's get going. Hmm? Well, maybe my mother will be going with Luke to the Markham Islands, you know, sort of a second honeymoon. That's you, the whole thing's another conspiracy, and Robert Scorpio's $50,000 bounty is another cover. Don't oh, start, Dylan. Oh, he was right last time. I don't really care where Luke ends up as long as it's not here. Mm -hmm. So, can we get this thing rolling? People, excuse me, this is a wedding. Can we at least pretend to wish the bride and groom the very best? <laughs> That's a generous thought. Oh. Well, those pregnancy hormones have obviously turned her brains to mush. <laughs> oh, please continue to talk among yourselves. The uh, minister isn't here yet. Yes, I am. You're the minister? That's right. When did you become a minister? Well, not too long ago. I was ordained by the Church of Online Divinity. Oh. That is so cool. Yeah. Wait, is this even legal? Hmm? Oh, it really doesn't matter. Luke and Tracy are just renewing their vows. God knows why. They don't need a minister. Well, the caller's very cute. Why, thank you. And I'd like to bless all of you, legally and officially. I can do that now since I'm not just the maid anymore. I'm a real-life minister, and we're going to have ourselves a real-life wedding. Now all we need is a real-life groom. <sighs> Truth is, Robert, I'm a little bit embarrassed about this. I mean, why should I be so frightened? You and I, we've dangled from burning helicopters, we've jumped off speeding trains, we were able to leap pole buildings at a single bound. I mean, we've laughed in the face of death. You're obviously waiting for an injunction, a getaway car, perhaps both. Now, I'll be reasonable, but don't wait too long. Cynicism from my best man, I'm very disappointed. Well, you already said you couldn't go through with the ceremony. Well, I got a bad case of cold feet. You'd be lucky if you have any feet by the time the island police are finished with you. You're not going to let them beat the skin from my dogs, are you, best man? Just get on with the wedding. Look, I got no trouble marrying Tracy if it's a scam, if I'm drunk, if there's money involved. But this whole idea of actually giving, giving vows from the heart, I can't do it. Well, well you seem quite fond of each other. Well, I'm very fond of her. Very fond. Well, in many ways, she's the perfect wife for me. The only time I've ever said vows and meant them was with Laura. Happiest day of my life. You were there. It was full possibility. How can I possibly declare my devotion to Spanky Buns? Find a way. Mr. Scorpio. I need a moment alone with my once and future husband. Do you think you could drum up a little tact and leave us alone? Okay. I'm gonna leave you and uh, Sparky Butt here to figure things out. But don't push your luck. Fifty grand may not be much to someone like you, but it's a lot to someone like me.
Did you reach the attorney? No, I thought you had. I thought that's what was taking so long. Everybody downstairs is waiting. Scorpio's getting suspicious. That's not good. Go back downstairs and stall. Why? So I can reach the lawyer and find out what's taking so damn long to get the injunction. Call him now. Oh, we need a minister. Ah, that's going to take some time. Let's try and find a minister. We have a minister. Alice. Alice? Alice. She got ordained online. That woman can do anything. Well, she's going to run through the ceremony like a drill sergeant. Yeah, see? And that's not good either, because then it'll be over in a second. It'll be like, I do, I do, blah, blah, blah. And then Scorpio will drag me off to some sadistic South Seas podiatrist. What if we write our own vows? We could go on and on and on about how much we love each other, for hours if need be. Or at least until the lawyer calls. Tracy, you're the best. I don't know what to say. You don't have to thank me. <laughs> but you will owe me for the rest of your life. No, I mean, I don't know what to say in the vows. I need some time to think it through. <laughs> been at a loss for words. Hey, listen, I have to make this believable. It has to be sincere. Otherwise, Scorpio will never buy it. He doesn't buy it now. Well, then get down there and sell, 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 woman. Convince him. Are you trying to get rid of me? We can't leave our guests alone. We're the bride and groom. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, God. You know what I was thinking earlier? <laughs> this kills me. Imagine Skye's face when she has to stand there and listen to me tell the assembled throng how much I love you and how complete and wonderful you've made my life. Huh? <laughs> You're right. That is delicious. No one's going to believe it. Well, we will. Part of it. Nothing could ever compare to our nuptials in Vegas. I'll never forget waking up in that hotel room. I love it when you scream. In bed. Okay, now I know you're up to something. I just don't know what it is. Don't be so suspicious. Come on. I need you to go downstairs and tell everybody that your loving husband will be down in a minute. But I'm up here right now writing my little heart out. Don't take all night. It's a long way down. <sighs> Why are you skipping out if Tracy's trying to help you? Uh, there's been a change in plans. Change? Uh, you don't need to know the details. Sure I do. Holly Cole. So? Well, she's in trouble. There are people in the Markham Islands trying to kill her. Let them. No. She needs me. Uh, I mean, she needs people, my help. People in the hospital needed help when she held the antidote for ransom. Some of them might still be alive if it wasn't for Holly. Why in the world would you want to help this woman? Oh, no. You don't have a thing for her, do you? I do not have a thing for Holly Sutton. You did once. Well, yeah, like a million years ago, and she ended up with Robert Scorpio. That's even worse. Now you two are in competition, right? You know, sometimes you're too smart for your own good. Were you even going to tell me that you were leaving? You're smart. I figured you'd figure it out. So you were going to leave Tracy at the altar and let her take it out on me? Tracy is no match for you. That's an excuse, and you know it. What about Lucky, huh? He needs you. What about Lucky? What does he need me for? He's got a wonderful wife. So, in other words, there is nothing that I can say that will keep you from going on your adventure. Oh, what can I say, daughter? It's, it's in my blood. So is cholesterol. Hey, maybe I'll bring your chimp back. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Or maybe a pet python or a collection of shrunken heads? You know, if you're going to go, go. If you want to risk killing yourself for some heartless con woman who is probably going to use you and leave you, I'm not going to stop you. I'll be back. I promise. I won't hold my breath. Okay, I'll miss you too.
Now get down there and tell those people that your old man is up here writing out what he's going to say so that he can plight his troth to the step monster. So why is it so impossible for all of you to believe that Luke might be serious? Where do I start? Why do you think Luke genuinely wants to renew his wedding vows when he planned to divorce you before you were even married the first time? Things change. I might not be the love of Luke's life, but then again, nobody is. And Luke and I have an understanding. Oh, come on, Tracy. You're just trying to hang on to your $15 million. I have every right to that money. Dad will be down in a second. What's taking so long? He wants the vows to be perfect. <laughs> I rest my case. I'm going back up there. Oh, uh, the ceremony's about to begin. I'll just be a moment. Come on, places, everyone! Uh, but you can't do this. Look, I'm a legally ordained minister. This is my show, and I say it's about to begin. So stand there and be quiet. Come on, everyone. <gasps> this is ridiculous. Shh. We're wasting our time. You want Luke out of the house or not? He'll be here. Oh, God. I'm getting too old for this. I'm going to go get the groom so we can move this No. Tomorrow. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. He could have written a sequel to War and Peace by now. He's a slow writer. Something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 